everyone. How you doing? This is Eric. How are you today? Hey, I just wanted to touch base for a few minutes again and give you a little bit of information on a sales funnel. So I don't know if everybody here is aware of what a sales funnel is, but if not, you should definitely make sure that you know what one is pretty soon. Basically, a sales funnel is a way for you to get your clients or your customers into either your email newsletter, to your website, or to provide more information about yourself. So, what are some of the steps that you can take to make sure that people are in your sales funnel? Well, the first thing that you'd want to do is to make sure that you have a capture page. Now, what do I mean by a capture page? Well, I'm sure you've probably seen these all over the internet. Um, you've probably opted into many of them yourself. Basically, it's either a link or an ad or an email, whatever the case might be, where you click on it and it takes you to a page where you enter in your name, your email information, and maybe even an address or some additional information that uh, re they're requesting. And really what that does is allow you to start building your base. This is without a doubt the most important piece that you need right off the bat. Once you have that sales funnel and you have that opt-in page and that capture page, you then have the email addresses that you can send newsletters to your clients, you can send sales information, you can send updates, you can do whatever you want. So basically capturing that email address is key. The second thing that you'd want to do is to have something set up in an autoresponder. Now, you can certainly use your own email address. I wouldn't suggest it, but you can certainly do it, especially in the beginning if you only have maybe, you know, 50 people, maybe even up to 100 people, you might be able to manage it in your own email address. But what you want to do going forward is use something such like AWeber uh, or some other kind of an autoresponder where once you have those email addresses, you can then put them into the autoresponder. And that way, if someone does click in, you can send them an automatic email without you having to do it yourself. Uh, also, if they do happen to enter inf information, you can have something that goes out to them, you know, say like a day or two later. You can set up email campaigns. You can create, uh, you can actually create the capture pages in there, uh, form letters, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and for probably less than 20 bucks a month, it's definitely worth it. Um, it's going to save you time. It's going to save you a lot of effort. And uh, believe me, <laughs> your, your time is worth more than 20 bucks a month. So I would definitely suggest doing it. Now, a third piece that you can add in, which is also very important, is to have some kind of a, a sales page. Now, what I mean by a sales page is something where it's either taking them to your website or uh, like another squeeze page or some other kind of a capture page, but something that's providing them with information about your product. Now, you don't necessarily need to sell anything at this point. So it can just be information. Um, again, I'm sure you've probably clicked on many of sites where you see the long page where you have to scroll down and everything. Now, you don't have to make it that long. You can make it very basic. You can make it, you know, one page. You can just make it very short. But basically, it's something that you're providing information and value. Uh, just as kind of a side note, information and the value you provide to someone is going to be one of your biggest assets. Uh, because people are looking to you for information. Let's be honest, they can buy from anybody that they want. So if they're coming to you, they're looking for that information first. So this quote sales page should really be a way to sell your product without actually promoting or necessarily having a product to sell on the page. Now, it's not to say that at the end you can't have that. Um, you know, maybe you have a link at the bottom that says if you'd like more information or if you'd like to receive these products, click here. You can do that. That's actually a great idea. Once you click that, that then takes us to our next piece, which is the order page. Now, with the order page, this is where you're going to have, uh, again, this could be your website. This can be a, um, a shopping basket. This can be, you know, you can set up a bunch of stuff, PayPal, whatever you want. But here's really where you're going to have all of your products. So it could be anything from, you know, a $5, 10 product that gives them just a little bit more information to kind of get you used to, uh, or get them used to what you have to offer. It can also be big products. I mean, it could be a whole series of things, you know, starting from $10 all the way up to, I don't know, $10,000, whatever it is that you're providing. So, you know, it's, it's probably going to take someone a little more <laughs> before they buy that $10,000 product. Um, but again, if you're able to get them to opt in, if you're able to get them to that actual order page, odds are they're probably going to buy something. 
Um, and again, one thing you could do is once you say you have them buy that first small product, uh, you know, in there, make sure, small references to the other products you have available and other ways that you can help them so that when they do start looking for more information, they're able to find that uh, once going through some of your other, other products. So again, once it gets to those bigger products, you can certainly, you know, redo this whole process if you want to do kind of a modified version because they've already gotten some information. But um, those are really just some of the main pieces that you'll want to make sure you're utilizing as part of your sales funnel. Once you're able to master that, you can certainly add in other pieces such as social media, you know, really anything else that you want, but make sure that you have these pieces in place first. So hopefully this helps give you a basis for how to build your sales funnel. And we will again be back tomorrow or the next day providing more information. And hopefully this was helpful to everyone. Have a good day. Thanks.